Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the PE Civil Water Resources exam. It's also a problem and some concepts that could show up in the PE Civil Geotechnical exam as well. So let's dive in. If the groundwater table is lowered, what will the effect be on the consolidation behavior of a saturated clay layer? And we're given four Roman numerals of effects, and we need to identify which ones are true and false. So to solve this problem correctly, we need to understand that lowering the groundwater table decreases the pore water pressure. So we look at Roman numeral one, pore water pressure decreases. So, okay, that is true, that occurs, so we'll put a check mark by it. Then this decrease in pore water pressure causes an increase in effective stress. But Roman numeral two says effective stress decreases. So because it says decreases, Roman numeral two is wrong. So we will put an X through that one. Roman numeral three says there's additional consolidation of the clay layer. So that is true because when we lower the groundwater table, this decreases the pore water pressure, resulting in an increase in the effective stress causing additional consolidation of the clay layer. So room in numeral three is correct or true, so we'll put a check by that. And then finally, we see that the additional consolidation of the clay layer we just talked about, this causes an increased settlement of the structure that's built on this clay layer. But Roman numeral four says a decreased settlement. So because of that, Roman numeral four is incorrect. So if we look at the answer choices, we see that answer choice A is the correct answer. Roman numeral 1 and Roman numeral 3 show the effects that will be expected if the groundwater table is lowered, and we've successfully answered this problem. So if you're looking for more practice as you prepare for your PE civil exams, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE review course. We'll see you there.